It is the holiday season. That means a nutcracker is back with the Indianapolis Ballet. It is back despite the pandemic. The dancers were still able to perform the classic piece and now you can actually watch it from home and joining me live this morning. Yoshiko Kamakusa, a founding company member with the ballet. So good to see you. It's good to see you too. Thanks Great. for having me. Absolutely. Last weekend you guys got to perform. Tell me about how that went. Um, you know, it was all very different. Um, we've never had virtual performances before. And I mean, it's a little bit sad that there's no live audience, but it's still a privilege to be on stage and to be able to do all of this virtually. I know so many people um, have wanted to go. This is something that they do every year. We're watching some of the absolute beautiful footage. How hard has this year been? We're hearing so much about the arts. Um, really taking such a big hit, not being able to perform, not being able to have ticket sales. How are you doing? I mean, it's all been a challenge. I mean, we've had our ups and downs and I don't, I honestly don't think artists are the only people who have struggled through the pandemic, but yeah, we have been hit pretty hard, um, but we've been going strong. We've been trying to put all those virtual things mm -hmm. together. We have all those safety protocols in place as well, and we all wear masks. And I think, you know, we're doing the best that we can despite all the circumstances. Yeah, the video was from this past weekend that we were just seeing as you were playing the Snow Queen. And you mentioned wearing the mask. Is it difficult to wear the mask and to get used to that while you're dancing? Um, sure. I mean, it's not something that we're used to, obviously. Yeah. Um, but we, I think it's getting easier every day. And we, you know, came back um, from work day one, um, returning to work with the masks mm. on. Um, we've had a lot of practice with it. So it hasn't, I think we've grown accustomed to it as yeah. much as possible. Wow, just absolutely beautiful as we see the video. Hey, before I ask you about how people can watch, I'm interested where you are and um, kind of some of the, the clothing around you. Oh yeah, um, so this is the costume room at the uh, at the company. Mm. We have some of the Nutcracker costumes here. Um, I think this one's from Wall to the Flowers. It's the core, mm. and uh, we actually have some Sleeping Beauty Q2s wow. back here, which will be later in the season. Wow, I know you again. You are one of the founding company members of the ballet. Um, if somebody wants to watch, um, what do you want them to know, and how do they do that? Um, well, the Nutcracker Suites, we just performed this past weekend. Uh, the live stream, it was on Saturday uh, on December yeah. 12th um, at 3, but it is on demand until okay. January 2nd, uh, which can be accessed through the website Indianapolis Ballet. Hey, best of luck to you, especially next year. Thank we you. hope to see big things, and hopefully we can all come back and watch you in person. Um, us as well. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. If you would like more information, fox59.com slash links. Another way to support anybody locally, Scott.